to, I guess, value today. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like um, a lot of like emotional value was tied into your house before the war. So like the antique furniture collection, like you have like an emotional attachment to that part of is what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean like the apartment and then also the furniture itself the furniture. is gone. Yeah. So is your chief concern, well obviously you're interested in moving back in the apartment, but is it more of getting compensated for the for the value that you lost in the apartment or moving back to the apartment and having it livable again? Um, I think it's definitely a, com a combination of both. It costs way more than we thought. We uh -huh. would be responsible for paying that. Yeah. Whatever it costs. We were told from a couple of contractors that it's estimated to be around 20000 in damages to restore it. So, um, Ooh. well, yeah. This is from like people in, in the industry. So, I think we do. That's yeah. very important information. Uh -huh. I gotta be honest, we're dropping at 1250 on rent because we can get it done for far cheaper. Yeah, than we can that. we can do it a lot cheaper. Twenty thousand sure. is an extreme overestimate based on what our contractors. Oh, can do. whoa, whoa, whoa! But you're dropping rent. That was just a number that we yeah, had. Yeah, we didn't no, say that. But that's that no changes your back. Then. Rent. That, that does change your work. back then. Because if then if we don't help, you're you're on the hook no. for twenty thousand. No, 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 no deal then. Absolutely not. You guys just dropped a hundred dollars. Because you Wait, so, so hold on. Okay. So no. before, before we make any claims, mm -hmm. so 20000 was the estimate you got as far as how much it would cost to get a repair. How much the repairs, or how much the damage done was. Okay, okay so, so, be, so before we, we change our offer, uh -huh. we just want to say that we can get it done for a lot more, or a lot less, which uh -huh. would be obviously less cost on you. Because if we left it to you, you would have to pay 20000 and we would be paying. But we're just going to say, like, a significant... I, we're we're willing to to lower the charter schools to three, instead of four. Like I know we had talked about four, but as something we could work with you on, we'd be willing to lower it to three. You know that's 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 a tough concession for us, honestly, as well. We just have, you know, certain demands that we have to fill. But we figured because you were so um, passionate about the charter schools and how detrimental they are, we can do one less charter school if you guys will give us some leeway here in this issue. Like, like we, we're, we're providing a 70% subsidy. I think, you know, that's that, yeah, that's not, obviously not the whole thing, but that's all we're, we're, that's all we're allowed to provide, so. so. Obviously we've had some time to look at your demands. Um, you know, and just looking back on the negotiation that we had mm -hmm. before the strike, it was obviously very unproductive. We really got nothing done. Um, and just coming from our side, we felt like that we, actually we're conceding quite a bit uh, we never once tried to push back unfairly on something on, on an issue we, we conceded on literally everything um, with that being said we think that your demands are actually outrageous um, they're honestly ridiculous in that they're not even close to not only what we want but what is just the reality of the situation so with that being said we're definitely rejecting all three demands that you have here you can go ahead and strike as long as you want. Like we're, we uh, we face constraints and we've tried to be very honest and open with you about what our abilities are and what we can feasibly do. And it, at, at a certain point, it's almost as if you're just trying to exploit us. So go ahead and strike. And when you're ready to have like a more uh, realistic conversation, like we're here and want to talk to you and want to come to an agreement, but we just simply can't even begin to consider your demands.